When it comes to fan folding drapes or pleating drapes, this could be really important in the way that the drapes will appear. So in order to do this, uh, once the drapes are all up, what you want to do is you want to kind of go around and pull the pleats together and take the excess of the drape that sticks out and pull your hand through it and make sure your buckram or the paper that's on the inside is broken in and forms. This will allow you to have the drapes stack much more closer to one another. As you can see, they stack quite nice and tight. Once that's done, then you want to go ahead and pull the pleats out. These are French pleat, and as you can see, like this one here, it's sort of crooked, where these ones are a little bit more straight. What you want to do is you want to grab the pleat at the very top and then take the first fold and just pull it out a little bit and kind of put a little bit of crease in it. I usually like to do these and they're, if they're twisted, I kind of like to turn them over like this and give them a little bit of a shape. See these right here? See, that's going to start, start, it's going to start forming. It may take a little bit of time, but you want to go ahead and do this. And if you can also possibly try to grab the lining that's on the back of these as well and do the same thing. And again, as you can see, I'm using both of my hands and I'm putting some folds in these. So I'm going to do this for all the drapes and all the pleats that are coming in with it. Now once I have done that, I like to go ahead and also put my hand on the back of the drapes and sort of start creating some folds from the very top. I want to do this to make sure that the lining that's on the back of the draperies is not being separated from the front layer. Now that I've got all the folds in, I'm just going to go and pull the drapes back. Sort of leave them on the closed position. Then I'm going to take the excess that was left over from the extra cord that we had from Traverse Rod. I'm going to sort of put this around the drapes so I can kind of create a form for it. I do this because I want the drapes to go ahead and get pleated. So I'm going to just go ahead and put a knot around this thing to have it available. Now my drapes are going to get pleats in them. So I'm going to start from the top again, the very top, and start creating those folds by putting my hands in the folds. I do this from the back, making sure that the same pleats that were started, the lining are inside of them and they are pulled together. A little bit hindrance, however though, this is what makes the drapes look really beautiful. So now that I've got that portion and I've got my cord right here, I just kind of did the top part is what I did. And now I'm going to go ahead and just do it right below the cord so that I do not lose my pleats. I do this also by using my hand as a guide and making sure those folds are carried out again. So now that I've got the bottom pleats pulled, folded out, I'm just going to go ahead and carry this down just a little bit longer. Not a lot, maybe just a few inches, because I want to make sure my pleats fall out all the way straight down and fabric has a tendency to dance around. So I want to make sure that does not happen and my pleats stay steady. So I'm going to continue to do this all the way down and one fold at a time. As I said, this is a little bit of time consuming and however though, it would be a wonderful idea if you were to do this. Uh, a lot of people may choose not to do this and it's okay. But again, to do this, you'll get the best appearance as far as the drapes go. Now that I've got the cord all the way in the bottom and I've got all my pleats kind of going straight down, I'm going to go ahead and leave this cord alone and uh, I'm going to leave that like this for a few days. 
pompadour, what you will see is the drapes are hanging really nice and straight. And I can pull them open and you will find the fact that these pleats have already formed. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull them back for now. And I'm going to just leave them like this for a, a few days. And this will allow them to go ahead and fall out. You get a lot of sun from these windows. So we gave them a blackout. And uh, they look pretty nice. They look very nice and orderly. This is how pleating is done. It's a little bit challenging, a little bit time consuming, uh, but if you just be patient with yourself and just give yourself a little bit of time, it may take you a couple of times, but I think you'll get it and they look stunning.